Dave Savage here, and uh, welcome to another weekly Insane Productivity with Mortgage Coach call. So I, I see a lot of folks on this call that have not been on this call before. Uh, we've been doing this call for, gosh, I mean, 20-plus weeks, and um, this Friday call came from the program that I did with Darren Hardy, Insane Productivity with Mortgage Coach, and it was just people that signed up and went through that program. It was just for them. But a, a, about four weeks ago, I decided to make it available for the whole mortgage coach community. So, so this call we've been doing for 20 plus weeks. Uh, by the way, all the calls are recorded. They're all in our YouTube channel. There's a playlist called Insane Productivity with Mortgage Coach. Um, now, this doesn't give you access to the program that Darren has and he sells. That's still a program that you guys can sign up for. I'm not going to spend time um, telling you about it or selling it. I would just say that myself and the leaders that I have on this call have all been through the program multiple times. Um, also, this call is a mastermind, so it's a little bit different. While we, I am presenting ideas, there are leaders on this call that are going to present ideas. Um, we're really here to mastermind as a group, so there's going to be a lot more interaction. Uh, you know, people can raise their hand. I can bring them in. Uh, on today's call, we don't have um, Todd Bookspan. Usually, it's Todd and I. We're the two hosts of the call and the two leaders, but he's on a personal family vacation. Uh, so Todd is on most of these. I'm on most of these. And then we have some graduates of Insane Productivity with Mortgage Coach that are mentors. And we usually have one or two of them. Uh, today, I think on today's call, we have um, Dave Galagos. Dave, what's up, my man? Are you here? Yes. How you doing, man? Glad to be here. Hey. Good to, good to have you. Uh, we have um, Michelle Town, who's one of America's top loan officers, like a $100 million a year producer, who's been through this program many a times. We have um, Jen DePlissis. She's actually speaking on a stage today at a Lenders One conference, so Jen won't be here. Um, Danny Harani is here quite often. He's been through this program. Uh, and then I also, we have Bliss Sawyer. Bliss, what's up? Uh, you're a mentor on today's call. Thanks for making time and being here as a leader. Yeah, thanks, Dave. Appreciate you having me on. Yeah. So, so what I want everybody to do is, first of all, you can ask questions in GoToWebinar. So if I see a question, I mean, this is ad hoc. I mean, this is an unscripted conversation. Post your questions. And if you want to raise your hand, um, there's a place where you can raise your hand, and I can unmute you. Uh, you know, while I'm going to do a lot of talking on this call because it's about video, um, I welcome interaction from everybody. Uh, also, um, usually we do these calls and they're very, we don't come in like we have one big topic and we're going to focus on it. We come in and we set the table with topics. Uh, Bliss, why don't you set the table with the topic that you did on our Facebook group and then um, let's see if we have some other topics and then we'll get into it. Bliss. Okay, sure. So, um, like I think it was last fall, um, Eric Zanatelli out of Oklahoma inspired me. I think, I don't know if you had highlighted him, Dave, or what it was, but he was basically doing, started doing videos and just kind of went hog wild with it. And so he and I had a conversation. So I started last fall doing quite a few of um, just basically marketing videos, you know, different credit tips or success stories, posting it on social media and on Facebook. And then last week I went to a Women's Council of Realtors meeting and the topic was on video. And I don't even think they were talking about it then, but I just kind of had an epiphany that we do so much electronically that I'm meeting with very, very few people up front, not till we get to closing. And so there isn't that personal touch of being across the desk. And so I've started to do text videos. So for example, when someone calls up and I have emailed them the steps to get credit approved, I'll just shoot a 20 second video say, hey, want to make sure you got my email, make sure it didn't go to your junk folder, um, take a look at the steps to get credit approved and call me if you have any questions while you're working on it. I think I posted one to the Facebook page where um, it's a doctor with kind of a quirky income situation. So I had, and he's in Canada right now and his realtor is here. And so I had just sent this 20-some second video to him and his agent just saying, hey, we've got our ducks in a row. Good luck finding a house. I'm going to send you the credit approval letter in just a little bit. So I'm just starting to do it. So kind of a dual purpose. Um, one is to be out there with information. 
videos, and then two, to do it to kind of have a better connection up front. And then I've got some other ideas of things I'm going to be implementing with videos too. So that's why I wanted to talk about the topic and see what everybody else is doing. Love it. Well, thanks for chapping the topic. Also, just because it's timely, I interviewed Josh Meadows this morning, and the whole topic was around conversion and clients for life. And so um, literally we did a 16-minute rant like, I don't know, 40 minutes ago. I just posted it. I guess it was an hour ago because I posted it right after the call. So there was some – I'll, I'll assign that as a homework assignment. So for those of you that are new, we do have a, a, pi a private um, Facebook group. You can search for it. It's Insane Productivity with Mortgage Coach. And, and we will approve you. I won't be multitask. Well, I will multitask because that's what I do. But – uh, we will approve you during the call, but, you know, there, there will be content in there. And, and like I said, this particular question came in from Bliss. Oh, here's the, by the way, here's the video. If you want to see how Bliss is using her own mobile phone and then she's posting that, here it is right here. Uh, and then also um, I put a video in here from Bill Hart. Uh, by the way, Bliss, first tip, you see how there's this border on both sides of your video? Yeah, my assistant knows how to do that right, and she wasn't here that day. Well, no, what you, what you, need, to, what you need to do is when you, shoot, you shot this video, and you guys can see me, like this, and if you would have shot this video in landscape, it would, it would be more pro. So that's the varsity move. When you're using your mobile device to capture video, you know, one takeaway for everybody, hold it landscape. It'll fill up the frame better. It'll, it'll just be a better visual experience. So, okay, heads up. on that. So this is what I actually did in a text. Does it make a difference when it's a text video versus posted on social media? No, no. It's a. It's you know when you when you capture it. And by the way, I want to get into it because I came prepared. Check me out. I I made these notes. Woke up early this morning. You know what are all the different types of videos I see loan officers doing? What are all the different ways of capturing them? How do I see mortgage professionals packaging them? You know, how do we promote them? Um, what are some keys to success? And so, I, I mean, I've come prepared to have a great conversation and deliver wow. But, but just heads up, landscape, varsity move, portrait, junior varsity. So take away. Uh, so let's do this. I want to see where everybody on this call is at from a video perspective. So I'm going to push a poll. How often are you creating video? I mean, we got way over 100 people on this call. So we've got a lot of folks. How often are you creating videos? 50% um, of you have voted. Uh, again, remember, guys, this is a mastermind. And when you go to a mastermind, how do you get the most value? You just get it sitting there listening, taking notes. Well, you should be taking notes. You should be listening. But engaging, you know, asking questions, sharing ideas, that's how masterminds work. So, so for all you mortgage coach members, this is a mastermind webinar. Please engage. 70% have voted. Come on, guys, let's take it to 80%. Usually I'm cool with 70%, but knowing that this is a mastermind format, um, I'd really like to see something more. All right, so I'm going to close the poll. I'm going to push the results, and there it is. 7% of the people on this call are doing a video daily. 21% are doing weekly. So, I mean, to me, big takeaway is 30% are doing it weekly. Awesome job to the 30%. Uh, another 11% are monthly. So that means 40% are in the game. And then 60% of you, you are not in video game. So, you know, I, hopefully we're going to change that by the end of this call. Uh, I don't know. Does that surprise anybody on the call? Dave, any surprises there? I don't think so. I, I, um, <clears throat> I'm actually, I guess, kind of surprised at the number, how many people aren't, you know, you know, not doing it. It's just changed a, a lot of what I'm seeing from my group that are, you know, the most productive people are just doing tons of video now. And, um, uh, the people that aren't as productive are just starting to like, well, I'm not sure I want to do it and everything else. So, yeah, I think it's time to, uh, I think everybody needs to up their game a bit. Yeah, no, no, no doubt. So here's what I want to do right now. In the question section, 
if you are doing videos, whether it's daily, weekly, or monthly, what kind of videos? So you see here I have types. You know, are you doing mortgage coach videos? Are you doing personal messages like the one Bliss just talked about? Are you doing news and ideas? We see a lot of that. Um, you're capturing testimonials with videos. You're doing how-tos. And you're doing Q&As. You know, a lot of just like, hey, I get asked this question all the time. Let's do a video on it. Put it on YouTube, Q&A. And then, of course, there's the weekly show or the monthly show where it's like, hey, I'm a mortgage professional. I've got this rhythm where I do a video show. Uh, again, to me, the top of the mountain is the RE Source guys, Ryan and um, Ryan Hills in RC, Ryan Christensen. Again, for anybody who's interested in video and you want to see like a great weekly show, go check that out. I will try to put a, a link to it. I've been on that show a bunch of times, but that's a great example of a show where it was captured with a really high-end camera. It was edited by an incredibly quality editor, RC, and then it was promoted both on their own squeeze page and on YouTube, and they do a great job of promoting it on Facebook. So, I mean, that's kind of like top of the mountain, like a lot of time, a lot of resource. And then, and then, you know, for me, the easiest video, and I don't just say this because I'm later a mortgage coach, it's, it is the mortgage coach video because you can capture it on your mobile phone. You can capture it on your desktop. You don't need to install any new software. It's the, the content is like the same thing you say in a voicemail or the same conversation you're having all the time. And so it's, it's not hard creatively. It's easy technically. And you're also not blasting it out to the world. You're, you're giving it to a family. So it's, I don't want to call it low impact because it has a lot of personal impact, but for all you in the 60% category that have never done a video before, there's no doubt that is the easiest video to do. And it is a high impact video because it's going to improve your conversion. It's going to improve your service and all the things that Mortgage Coach does. So I kind of put those as, you know, number one and number two. Uh, so let's see what kind of videos you're doing. So Kurt is doing stories and testimonials. Rick, I'm doing uh, mortgage coach videos. Thank yous, by the way. I love that. That's a new category. I'm going to add that to thank yous. Um, introduction videos. He's using BombBomb. Um, I love what Dan Keller does with his market update. So I kind of put that under ideas. But let's just go ahead, market updates. Uh, okay. And Sean, hey, Sean, you said never, but I'd love to know why. Like, if you have not done video, why have you not done a video? Uh, Troy is only using mortgage coach videos, mortgage coach videos, you know, anyways, a list of mortgage coach videos. Andrew Adams is doing um, MC, personal with bomb bomb news, um, FAQs. By the way, Andrew, I don't know if I can unmute you. But I'm going to try. Andrew Adams, I have unmuted you. Are you, you in a place where you can talk, my brother? Actually, I uh, failed on my unmute. Oh, it's not letting me unmute you. Oh, there we are. Andrew, I've unmuted you. How you doing, brother? Excellent. How about yourself? Doing good. So put a little color around the types of videos you're doing and then any questions that you have that you think would be valuable for the audience today. Well, I, I'm doing a ton with BombBomb. Bomb. Um, uh, you know, I took the video uh, with uh, uh, Bill Hart and uh, and Nicole and have sent that out to um, 400 or so agents. Uh, and I'm starting to follow those up with text messages to set up um, pretty much mastermind sessions with them to talk about how Nicole's kind of flipped the industry a little bit out there and how she looks at things and kind of want to get quality dialogue going with them. So that, that's that's one of the ways I've used it and I've committed to doing, uh, I've tried to commit to do, and this started last week uh, based on jam sessions, trying to do a video a day with, a, with an FAQ, trying to build up my YouTube channel and just get better at videos. The one thing that I would, that I'm curious about is I'm not looking to really edit them, but I would like to be able to add um, add like a, a, a mortgage coach scenario where I can actually flip from me to the to the video of the of me explaining 
the uh, the total cost analysis. Has anybody done that, and does anybody have a way to do that? Yeah, we'll talk about that. So I'm going to put you back on mute, brother. And uh, if you have more questions, raise your hand or post them. Sound good? Absolutely. All right. So let's see. Does anybody else have questions? Troy Root has raised his hand. What's up, Troy? Hey, David. What kind of Nobody. questions do you have, and how are you doing? I'm doing good, man. What kind of what kind of questions do you have, and what are you doing I, with video right now? I, like I said, I'm only doing the TCA videos, but I think one thing is, and I, I don't know if you, it's on your hit list, but is overthinking the videos. I mean, that's what I think that's my biggest Achilles heel, even on the TCA videos still to this day. I still I overthink what I'm going to say, which it, so what so basically the topic would be is how do you stop from overthinking? <laughs> how many how many times have you done? A mortgage coach video. Like, what, what's your guess on how many times you've done it? Oh gosh, um, I think I'm probably close to 200, maybe. I do, I probably do. I do at least two, three a week minimum. On well, so first of all, right on, brother. Great job on that. So how to not overthink it? I will try to respond to that. I'm going to put you back on mute and lower your hand. If, you, by the way, do you have another question before I put you back on mute? No. All right, man. Raise your hand if you have another one. And then I thought I saw another hand, although it went down. Linda Buchanan, I saw you with a raised hand, but I guess you took it down. You want to get put on the spot. Um, hey, Dave. So, hey, Dave. Yeah, I, had a quick, I had a quick thing. I just, uh, what, I think one of the things that I've noticed, the, the, the more authentic one, because bringing up, you know, trying to um, um, overthink the video, I think that's one of the things that I've noticed. You can tell when someone's being real and just really natural. Those are the best videos, and they're never perfect. That's what I think. Like your videos, your interviews, you see somebody walking behind you. I think that's awesome because I go, oh, this is so cool. This is real. Like this is real. Like this isn't overly staged. Do you know what I'm talking about? It's just um, I know what you're talking about. You're just you're just but people like real people. And I think sometimes when you see somebody, it's perfect video in every way. It's like, yeah, that's overly staged. I don't know. And so that's just my take. That's just my my gut reaction when I see a video like that versus watching um, somebody who's just you know you know and they, there's a noise in the background and they happen to take away and look and they just keep going and then they finish it and it's like, oh, that's awesome. It's real. You know, I mean, we, it's funny you bring that up because, I mean, there's even debate internally in our organization where, you know, there's folks that are like, you know, I'm too casual about it or we're not, you know, like, let's really do it quality. And, you know, here's the deal. You know, I mean, there's no doubt quality matters. And I'm going to cover some best practices today. And, and there's some just easy things. Like, you know, I was intentional about my background right now. You know, I, there's a lot of places I could be in the room that I'm in right now. But, I mean, I'm in a place at least – from my perspective, it looked cool compared to some other places. So I was intentional about my background. But to your point, the more authentic, the better. And, it, and here's the biggest thing of all. If, 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 you, if anything is getting in the way of the quantity of the videos you create, then you're overthinking it. Because as a mortgage professional, um, one thing I'm super clear about is just like writing an email is, is an important thing to do, and communicating with text is an important thing to do. Using video is essential to maximizing your success. Um, it's just a, it's a ubiquitous medium now. I'm not going to get into all the stats because we've all heard it. Um, you need to be creating videos. And so we talked about the types. You know, we talked about the types. I want to just give an overview and a framework, and then I'm going to make sure I answer all the questions and then some. So there's capture. You know, how do you capture it? And to the point you just made, Dave, there's kind of like informal to formal. And then I, I put there's mobile and then there's a professional shooter from a capture standpoint. Now, again, mortgage coach app is the easy way to do it. Your mobile phone is an easy way to do it. Again, if you're doing FAQ or um, a show, a friend or family member to be a shooter, um, there's a lot of videos where I've had my daughter, who's a senior in high school, set up a, you know, her Canon camera, and we caught some good stuff. Uh, you're seeing a lot of Facebook Live, you know, and I think you're going to see that concept trend. 
um, you've got you've got YouTube, and then of course you've got a professional video team, you know, where you've hired a team and they're coming in. I'm not, I'm not going to talk about the professional team today. Uh, you know, that's let's just take that out, and everything we talk about today is informal. So there's types, call that strategy. There's capture. Remember one varsity move when you capture with a mobile phone. Varsity, or excuse me, JV, varsity. You know, you're going to get a better video when you capture it that way. Um, also, start thinking about having a tripod so that you can mount it hands-free and get a picture. So start thinking about tripods. Um, and then there's the packaging. You know, is it something that's unplugged with no editing, or is it something that's highly produced? I had an editor. I cleaned it up. I took out the ums and ahs. I added some visual effects. Um, again, mortgage coach is the easiest and the fastest because it's raw. There's no editing. You can capture it with a mobile phone or a desktop. Um, Fiber is an app. Like, you know, Jen um, Duplicis, she made a video the other day, and it was in two parts. And she used the app called Fiber, and for $5, she had someone edit it together. So, you know, think of Fiverr as just a super simple, easy way to contract out simple editing and probably complex editing too. And then, of course, you can, you know, have a contractor or learn how to do editing yourself. You know, I mean, I'm seeing a lot of loan officers that are learning how to use editing tools. I would love to know um, if you're on this call and you're doing editing, whether you're doing it yourself or you have a consultant or using a service like Fiverr, um, let us know how are you doing editing. And I, I would also love to know what percentage of your videos are edited versus non-edited. So one more, a couple more things, and then I'm going to open it up for Q&A. Uh, when you promote videos, you know, it can be as simple as a text, you know, like to Bliss's point, she's literally capturing a video and then texting it to a family. Super simple. You could um, mortgage coach video. Most of those are delivered via text or email. Um, Facebook video, and by the way, I'm going to put two different Facebook strategies because um, you're starting to see a lot more people using FB, Facebook Messenger, and literally you can capture that video with your mobile phone and send it all within the Facebook Messenger platform. I'm seeing that as a trend. Uh, you can post it on Facebook. You can send it through LinkedIn. You can email it. And then BombBomb and other services. Now, I'm not, not a fan of BombBomb, Bomb, but I will tell you, um, in the world of best practices, I think the best way to deliver a video is in the platform that a family uses. So, you know, Facebook. If someone's on Facebook, delivering it through Facebook is a great platform. If someone's getting mortgage advice with the total cost analysis, give it through their native experience. Everybody lives on text. Texting it, native experience. Um, you know, BombBomb Bomb and services like that, you're basically sending an email, which doesn't have a high delivery rate, and then you're driving them through another platform. Again, not bad, but just be intentional about that. That if that's you know if you're using bomb bomb or services like that, I think um, context is king. And by the way, that's what I was just getting ready to cover is like keys to success. Um, the keys to success are context. That means giving the right message through the right channel for a family. So if they live on text, you should know that. And delivering videos, the appropriate videos through text is essential. Um, if they live on Facebook, through Facebook. If they live on email, email. Um, headline, you know, this is where I see a lot of people mess up with videos. They make a great video or a useful video, and then they put a headline on it that doesn't get it clicked on. Um, and by the way, this is not something you need to overthink. If it's a total cost analysis video, as simple as Jones Family Total Cost Analysis. That's a great headline for a family. They're like, oh, it's for me. It's my personal video. Um, but just be very thoughtful about that. Now, again, if it's a show or a strategy, you know, the more you can come up with something that what is the result, what is the value, and test headlines, the better. But, you know, context matters most. Um, headline is essential. What is the story and the strategy? Like right now, we are promoting um, this video by Nicole. So Bill Hart interviewed Nicole Solari. 
incredible story. Realtor who closed 191, sold 191 homes last year. She's doubling this year. She's 30 years old. She's a millennial, three years in the business. Started in a, you know, in Napa, a city where she had no friends and no database. And just by doing open houses, she built this insane business. You know, she's a leader in the Remax community. She's going to be on the Inman stage. So what do we have there? We've got an incredible story. You know, Bill Hart interviewed her. We've got a, you know, I mean, a better interviewer than me. I mean, I think I'm a good interviewer. Bill's better. Um, he interviews her. You know, we've got a great, we had my team edit it. So it's well packaged. So, you know, this is an example of a video where it was shot with intention. It was a great story. It was well packaged. And now we're going to do a great job of promoting it. So, so anyway, just be, be thoughtful about that. Um, if you, the bigger, the, the better the story, the better the everything. Um, quality, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to focus on quality real quick because this is where um, I really urge everybody to start thinking about um, ad hoc, ums and ahs, sometimes videos that aren't perfect. That's good quality. If you think about what the context is, think about who the audience is, um, authenticity and emotional connection is most important. Um, but then again, sometimes the quality is something that's highly produced and extremely well thought out. So, so quality can mean a lot of different things. But I will tell you, quality, you know, like when you looked at that video, and again, not to pick on you, Bliss, but like your video, when it didn't fill out the frame, again, no one's not going to not do business with you because of that. But I would just say little things, you know, turn it sideways, it'll be better quality. Um, be thoughtful of your background. And, 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 and little things like smiling, you know, when the video starts, be smiling. Uh, so I would tell you guys right now, and I'm going to open it up for Q&A, we have a, um, a getting started guide which from a mortgage coach standpoint, it covers key questions to ask yourself about a mortgage coach video. It talks about, you know, the keys to a great video. If, if you have not studied this, study this. Uh, also, I'm going to give everybody a homework assignment. Uh, I interviewed, it's, it's, a, it's a few years old, but it's still very relevant. It was how to create a perfect mortgage coach video with myself and Bill Hart. Uh, it's 14 minutes. By the way, I put it in the Insane Productivity group. It's a homework assignment in there. So check that out. Um, so check that out. So I went through the framework. We're about halfway through the call. Dave, anything come to mind? And then, Bliss, I'm going to hand it off to you, and then I'm going to pull questions from the audience. Well, I'll, so just, plug, I'll, just, I'll just plug that video that he that interview Bill did with Jenny Scolari. Um it was phenomenal, and um, so uh, like you said, a really good, a really good um, uh, use for something like that. I mean, you know, because Bill used to do those interviews. You know, we used to buy the CDs. Bill Hart would interview a real estate agent, right? We used to buy, used to buy those CDs and send them out. Now we can do this so much more efficiently. Um, that was that's a phenomenal video to share, and then just opening it up and and uh, making sure that you're passing it on to real estate agents is. Um, just a great it's a, it's a simple strat it's not this isn't that complicated and again uh, when you've got that kind of quality to share with your referral sources you're you're elevating yourself in their eyes so um, that's all I'd have to add love that uh, blitz anything to add or do you have a question to keep this conversation going so actually on the the video with Bill and Nicole I loved it so much I have created a group of real estate agents in Facebook. So I shared that just to anyone that I'm friends with that's a real estate agent. I shared that video on Facebook because there's some, I mean, she's obviously extremely inspirational and I got some great ideas from it. And so that's just one thing. Um, I have a, a real estate agent that I do a lot of business with and he decided to start doing video. His first video was 15 minutes long. After the first 45 seconds, and 100 likes and ums, I thought I was going to shoot myself. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, I just did it. I just said, uh, right? It's hard not to. But first of all, 
your video should be a minute, minutes, and 20 seconds at the maximum. If you have more than that to say, you probably need to break it up into different topics. If it's a something like a text video where you're giving them information saying, hey, check your email, I just sent your credit approval letter, literally 20 seconds is all it should be. And so keep it super short. But I was also going to add, we um, have looked back at some of the videos we've done and what's gotten the most response and traffic, and it's sometimes the quirky or even the personal ones. Because there was a day last winter when it was snowing, and I don't know if you guys are fans of Snapchat. I don't really understand Snapchat, but we played around on it one day, and we found, we basically made me into a bunny rabbit with snow, and I just talked about, hey, do you, are you, you know, are you a renter with pets, and do you want to own a home? I need a home, I don't know, it was just, it was just kind of quirky and fun and cute, and we just had fun on a snowy day, right? Well, that, that video got a ton of views because they see the clip, right? And it's interesting, I have rabbit ears, and so they clicked on it and watched it. Um, another example is, let's see, earlier this week, I was at a play with my husband, and I literally did a five-second video just of me kissing him and just said, happy anniversary. And those type of personal videos engages people at a much higher level than credit tips. But obviously the credit tips is what gives you credibility and brings people back around to you to ask questions and to utilize your services. So I try to just have the, the personal ones interspersed randomly and sporadically, if that makes sense, so that it just keeps people engaged and keeps me real. And you know, along those lines of not being perfect, none of my videos are perfect. In fact, I pretty much have a goal to never be perfect, and I'm 100% at it. <laughs> Love it. So a couple, couple thoughts here in your talk. You know, one, I mean, no, no doubt, videos that are from the heart that were inspired by something are great. You know, the, the more people know you, you know, the people that are the right people to be your clients, they'll be attracted to that. Um, I do think, I do think that, you know, when I've interviewed the most successful loan officers in America, you know, they all have a common theme, usually their energy and their X factor, it's noticeable, but they're process driven, you know, they've got consistent processes and they're fantastic communicators and they have systems to make sure they're communicating incredibly effective. So I, I, I'm going to, you know, there, there, there's going to be videos that I think are essential to success for the modern mortgage professional, where it's just like, this is a standard. And if you're not doing this, you are missing it. You're not a modern mortgage professional. Um, and then there's things like a weekly show, you know, like the RE Source guys. It's above and beyond. Um, Bliss, to your point where you're doing playful, fun things that inspire you, you know, I mean, that's right for some people. There's some people that either, one, they don't have the personality. It's not their personality. Or two, those, those can be really hard to do because there's, you know, there's a lot of emotional energy, psychic energy that it takes to create that video and release it into the wild. Just like there's a lot of people that don't even, you know, they, they, they're on Facebook, they talk, they study other people, but they don't post, they don't like, they don't engage. So I want to really focus the next, I don't know, 25 minutes on the videos that matter most that should become part of your consistent process. Uh, so just a thought. Now, again, that's not to say that the emotionally engaging, those other videos are bad. I'm just going to say it, we're going to focus on that for 25 minutes. Uh, so with that said, remember it's a mastermind. Uh, raise your hand if you have a question or post in chat. Uh, I, I mean, there's so much stuff. Um, I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to. I'll, I'll start reading again in a minute. People do business with people they like, right, Tina? Totally concur on that. Rich, I've been doing video, 30-30 um, challenge. I play, oh, I like what you said here, Rich. You, you did the Roberto Monaco um, videos. By the way, I've, I've interviewed Roberto Monaco multiple times. I've had Roberto as a coach and a mentor, personally. So I do want to transition into something on Roberto that were in my notes. Thank you for reminding it. Here, here are the two processes I use when I create videos. Now, again, I've, I've created thousands of videos now. So, I mean, it's not like I'm in my first hundred. It's not like I'm in hundreds. I mean, I've done a lot of videos. 
so when I want to really do something that is, um, I don't know, it's big, it's thick, it's uh, most of the Tuesday, the interviews I do, I go through both processes. But this, I, don't do, I don't necessarily do this for a total cost analysis. But the, the process I learned from Roberto, Roberto more years than I can remember, and by the way, if you go to our Google um, page, you click in Roberto Monaco, there'll be a call you can watch and you can learn this from Roberto. But a really powerful video that's going to have influence, you want to be intentional about your opening. So what do you say in the first, if it's a two-minute video, what do you say in the first 15 seconds? If you're doing something bigger, you know, like a keynote, what are you going to say for the first minute that you're intentional? Um, Roberto makes the point of pre-framing. So there's the story and the strategy and the meat of what you want to do, but how are you going to frame it? And, and Roberto makes the point that how you pre-frame something is sometimes more important than the story or the strategy itself. So opening, pre-frame, story, strategy. And then let's face it, when it you know, when I, with the type of video I'm describing right now, it's one where you want people to take action. You want them to call you, you want them to opt in, you want them to respond to an email. So there's a pre-close, and then there's a close. There's a call to action. So, so this is probably the, and, and by the way, I can do all of this right here in like a minute or two. So like, I mean, I can literally, whether I'm doing a total cost analysis video, whether I'm doing a Tuesday interview, or whether I'm doing a Skype interview that should be, you know, 10 to 15 minutes, I can do all this really quick. And then sometimes I do write it down, like, you know, you guys can all see I use Evernote like crazy. I'll, I'll make an Evernote and I'll put bullet points around this. And then the process that I do all the time, every time I do any type of video, um, I, I always think about what do I want the people on the call to think? What do I want them to feel? And what do I want them to do? So, so for, in this particular call, I came in with, one, I want everybody on the call to feel, to think that they've got some great logical ideas about video, like tactics. I mean, I've had, it's blown up with people asking me for this document. Um, yeah, I will figure it out and I'll put it in Facebook after the call in our Facebook group. Um, so I really wanted everybody to think like, I got some goods here. I want everybody to feel, one of the reasons why I turned on the video and, you know, I've been pretty ad hoc is I want you to feel like I can do this thing. You know, like video is achievable. Um, it's important. Uh, and then do. I had two do's that I wanted everybody to do. I won. I had a, a I don't want to call it a selfish interest because I do believe it's in the best interest of everybody on this call. I, I want you guys to do that, um, go through that, gen, that Bill Hart um, interview. So that was a, a do. I wanted everybody to do it. I, I interviewed her for loan officers. And then Bill interviewed her for realtors. So part of my goal was get as many people as possible on today's call through that experience and sharing it with their realtors. And I wanted everybody to create a total cost analysis video today or tomorrow. Um, so those were like two do's that as a leader at Mortgage Coach, I wanted to make sure everybody did. And I came to this call with that in mind. So think, feel, do. Add that to your process. Uh, Dave DeLegos, any, any comments or questions? No, dude, you're covering you're, you're you're covering a lot of ground. This is great stuff. All right, let's see what the uh, um, Bliss. What about you? Any questions or comments? No, I don't think I mentioned mortgage coach actually because I've been doing those for years. So I'm hoping everybody on here, even if you don't think you're doing videos, mortgage coach really is like you said. It's the easiest thing you can do. And I can't tell you the number of times that realtors and buyers will say. That was amazing to see a side-by-side -side comparison and have you explain it to me. So number one step, because it's probably the easiest and there's, you don't need to edit, you don't need to be perfect, you're just explaining what you're looking at on the screen and people love it. And it gets you, it kind of dips your toes in the video so that, I mean, I think my first video I probably took 20 times because it made me so nervous and I thought I looked ridiculous, right? And now right. I don't take it unless there's seriously something wrong. So you just have to start doing it somewhere. And probably Mortgage Coach is the easiest place to do that. Yeah, no no doubt. By the way, I, the reason I'm multitasking is I just wanted everybody to actually see it. So literally, you can log into the back of the Mortgage Coach app. You know, if you haven't downloaded the app, this is what it looks like. You know, by the way, 
I, I had a question, how do I do it? You go to this page, there's a little profile, I click on the profile, and I log in, and then I just pick a customer, you know, pick an actual customer, I click total cost analysis, total cost analysis, and then I hit the video button, click video, and boom, I am recording a video. Well, by the way, do I do it like this, or do I do it like that? I do it like that. I record a video, I press stop, I'm done. So, so I, I would say, you know, when you think of the videos that every modern mortgage professional should do, again, I think every modern mortgage professional should say the total cost analysis to a family. Again, this is all about productivity. That's productivity. Fastest path to, tra to trust. And once you've done it more than 20 times, it's the fastest way to deliver options. I think you should add a video to it. Fastest path to emotionally connecting with people so that they know you. Um, so I think those are, those are key things. Uh, by the way, Michelle Town, it looks like you joined us. Um, I haven't heard from you. How's it going, Michelle? Well, I see Michelle on here. Michelle, if you um, end up being able to unmute, just jump in and, and say something. You there, Michelle? One more chance. All right, let's see what questions we have. So by the way, I want to do a pulse check and see how effective I've done been at uh, just getting people after, so I asked the question at the beginning, who, what are you doing today, daily, weekly, monthly? I want to know after this call, are you going to start doing videos daily? Hopefully some of you weeklies are going to go into dailies. Hopefully some of you monthly are going to go into weekly. And by the way, if it's never still, like, hey, you know what, I'm sorry, I'm not in the video game. Uh, I want to know, like, it's, it's still never, sorry. And, uh, and by the way, so far, a lot of people have voted and no one has clicked never. So one, I don't believe that. I think there's still someone on this call that's just like, I'm not doing video. Um, by the way, we're over 50%. No one's clicked never yet. Dave, oh, boom, someone just clicked never. Uh, a few people have clicked never now, so some honesty. Uh, so, so guys, we're only at 54%. I had almost 80% of you vote that first time. Please vote. Give, let me know. I would love to have 80% of the people on this call. Tell me where you're at from an authentic perspective. Where are you at from an authentic perspective? Daily, weekly, monthly, never. Where are you at? All right. So uh, Dave, Bliss, and Michelle, and audience, you guys ready for the results? Here we go. Share results. Check that out. That's pretty cool. Well, I, here's, here's the good news. I, I, I achieved a goal, which I know for sure some of you will start be doing video more often. I mean, we went from, what was it, 60% said never. Now we're at 4%. 7% uh, were, you know, in daily, 27%. Um, the, the one thing I want to tell you guys right here, you know, takeaway I have, is that if you want to build a habit, if you really want to take action on today's call, do it daily, you know, and, and here's the deal. Even if you're not going to forward it to the client, but you're just going to make a video. And again, we've given you a couple really simple options. The mortgage coach video, which family gets the total cost analysis. They get one minute from you. Hey, John and Sue, it's so great to meet you. You told me your goal was X and Y. I've put together this total cost analysis so that you and your agent can help pick the perfect home for you. You're so lucky to be working with Susie Smith with Remax, best agent in the county. Uh, you know, tell me which option you want and I'll move forward. So, I mean, again, that's a super easy video to do. And then uh, to what Bliss said, it's super easy to just, you know, use the video to text a message to a family or use Facebook Messenger. So those are videos that you could literally do daily. And even if you don't feel comfortable and confident with forwarding it to the client, you could just delete it and say, okay, I did it, I tried it. Uh, my ask to everybody is if you did a video every day for the next 20 days, and by the way, and you sent them to people, between how easy it got for you and the results that you would get from your clients and your partners, you would never stop. So the path forward is daily. 
Uh, weekly is not the path forward. The path forward is daily. Uh, but again, weekly is progress. Anybody, everybody who said monthly, I would just tell you that's still kind of, um, you're not there. Unless, of course, you're doing a well-produced show. But here's, here's where I'm going to put some closing thoughts and then open it up for Q&A. The types of videos that are most important that you should have process and standards around are the mortgage coach video. They are the personal messages, you know, that are, that are personal in nature. Those are just standard procedure every modern mortgage professional should do. Call that 101. You know, that's video 101. I think video 102 is when you start to create how-to videos and FAQ videos. Uh, I think those are really powerful. That's kind of 102. Going out there and, you know, doing the thank yous and the, well, thank yous, you know what? Thank yous are personal messages. I just think are the same. I put that in the same bucket. Um, you know, the, the, the Dan Keller newscaster where I'm doing market updates, I'm sharing strategies and ideas. I mean, that's kind of like 103. That's advanced because, you know, one, you've got to be a natural leader. You've got to be a great presenter. You've got to create content. You know, that's, you know, like, Doing a mortgage coach video, I mean, you're already doing that in your sleep. You're already doing that on voicemails. Doing a how-to, you're already doing that. You're, you're just doing a one-to-one. -one. You're not doing a one-to-many. So these are, like, super easy, super simple. You know, doing the news updates, that's a new skill. That's like I'm becoming a presenter. I'm becoming a keynote leader. Um, that's, that's next level stuff. And then the weekly show. I mean, that's an investment. I mean, that's an investment in time, creative, execution, editing. You're committing to doing something weekly or monthly. Um, that's a big deal. So, so, again, but to me, modern mortgage professional 101 is a mortgage coach video and a personal message. There's just every loan officer needs to get there. And the faster you get there, the more effective you'll be, the more successful you'll be. Uh, by the way, I want to make sure everyone knows. Uh, Dave, anything you want to add to the conversation I've had so far? No, but you know what, though? This has been really good for me, too, because, you know, I'm not, an, I, as you know, maybe people don't know, I'm not a non-producing manager, and um, but we're building, we're working on building our market with uh, uh, a group now in Facebook, a, 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 it's, it's called Otubin's Agents. And I'm going to start using video on it at least once a week, uh, just um, <clears throat> because. And then, like this Nicole Solari interview is going to go up there, and it's just going to be how do we add value to the real estate community? But I got to do it the same way you're doing it. So it's good stuff, dude. Right on, Bliss. Anything you want to add? No, it's great. I'm inspired, and I think it's just looking for inspiration in different ways, which is what this community is all about. So I appreciate it. I'd love to see. If anybody else wants to share some of the videos they've done that have been most successful, that would be awesome. I love seeing what other people do. Love that. And by the way, I am right now sharing what I think is the best weekly show. This is one where I was a guest, and I, we were talking about the dual market opportunity. So one, it's a really good strategy. And two, it's just an example of a really well done weekly show in the industry. And, and like I said, from the things I've seen, this is really well done, well produced, well executed. Uh, I do ask, I mean, remember guys, this is a mastermind. And I, I did come to this mastermind as the primary thought leader. Um, a lot of people haven't raised their hands, so you, I've had to do all the talking. Um, but I, I, I want your ideas. So if you have a video that you're doing that you think is great leadership, it's a best practice, please share that in the Facebook group. We've added countless. I don't even know how many new people have um, joined our Facebook group, but add it. I also added this video. Um, it was a, I, when I interviewed Dave Ramsey a year or so ago, uh, there was a rant that we had that was like two minutes long. So it was like three minutes. And Dave did a whole rant. Again, this is a couple of years ago where he was like, why you should be doing video. And within his rant, not only was it a good why video, you know, he gave some you know, very practical, like no video should be over, I think, a minute and 37 seconds. You know, he had some science, like this is the longest it should be in line. So, again, another homework assignment. I put a link to it. Uh, but if, if, if you have a video that you're doing that's great leadership, remember, this is the mastermind call. We want to make you more efficient. 
We want to help you increase your productivity. And today we're talking about video. So join into the conversation. The more you engage, the more you bring to the call, the more value you will get, and the more value you will get. Um, let's see. It, Michelle Town, have you been able to unmute yourself yet? Michelle. Gosh, I miss hearing your voice, Michelle. It's been a couple weeks. So uh, you, usually Michelle is very active in these calls. Again, $100 million a year producer, kills it with Mortgage Coach, has a great program. She's not able to talk today. Uh, let's see. I'll raise hands. Oh, Ed. Ed, I have unmuted you. Did you have a question or a comment? Um, kind of a question. I was thinking about uh, videos, but more along the lines of maybe a, like a weekly podcast interviewing uh, agents as a way to uh, maybe create an audience and highlight uh, good agents. Any thoughts? Yeah, well, I mean, pod, I'm, a, I'm a consumer of podcasts. Uh, my favorite podcast is Jocko Willink's, you know, Extreme Ownership. I mean, I love it. I, I, get, I, I listen to an hour or two of podcasts. Um, well, with Jocko, I have to listen for two hours, and he holds me in. So I'm, I'm a big fan. Um, Jen Duplitz does a podcast, so I know I know a couple loan officers doing podcasts. I would I would just say I'm a big fan. I don't have a lot of best practices to share where like, hey, here's a loan officer that did it, and here's all the results. Other than Jen, um, maybe we'll we'll make that a topic when Jen's on the call and we'll have her share it. But I I definitely think that is a strategy of the modern mortgage professional. Um, I know it's a winner. I mean, podcasts are awesome. So that's all I really have to say about it today, Ed. And okay. please keep that conversation going. If you if you do one, let us know. I'm starting to just look into it and research a little. Just, But I just yeah. thought maybe someone out there already had the idea, thought about it, and uh, which could share some of their experiences. Well, well like the, Jen Duplessis, one of our you know, regular mentors, has a podcast, and I'll make sure we – you make sure we bring that up a topic next week when she's on the call. Will do. Thank you. Yeah. Hey, thanks, Ed. Thanks for engaging, man. Uh, all right. Let's see if we got any other questions. I'm going to go ahead and put Ed's hand down. So I don't see any hands up. Remember, folks, if you have a question or you just have a, some thought leadership to provide, you know, this is the time and the place. Um, let's see. Very interested in adding video to my process. Great job, Sean. Uh, Linda. What is the best way to learn how to do FD videos, and can you do tests? So, um, Linda, I will make that a topic for a Tuesday call. I did do an interview with Chris Smith, the, um, uh, the author of The Conversion Code, and that was a topic within a one-hour conversation, so I do recommend you listen to that call. But uh, I will make that something that we'll do more of in the future. Sound good, Linda? If you have more questions, let me know. I'm not just posting videos yet. Um, I intend to make it a part of my daily process. Great job, Victor. Uh, the, the daily effort is so worth it. Building the habit is difficult, but once you do it, um, it takes you to the next level. Rick, Rich, thanks for sharing. Um, by the way, one of our trainers, Tina, just jumped in and said, um, you know, we're, we're dedicated to helping train you. So if you're a branch manager on this call and you want us to do a training on how to do mortgage coach videos, uh, email training at mortgagecoach.com. Also, I would say every Wednesday we do what we call our mobile mastery call, and that's all about teaching you how to use your mobile device, you know, as effectively as possible with mortgage coach. And video is part of that. If you haven't been to that training, check it out. Uh, let's see, Rich, I watched Greg McDaniel several times, uh, worth watching periodically. Hey, Rich, if you could um, post that in our YouTube, or not our YouTube, but in our Facebook group, that would be great. Uh, Sean, how do I get a link to access the Mortgage Coach app? Uh, go to the App Store and type in Mortgage Coach, and you can get that. Also, if you are still having problems and you need issues, or you have issues, Email support at mortgagecoach.com. Uh, Victor said, I love the idea of podcasting interviews with realtors. So we'll keep that conversation going, guys. Uh, when Jen's on the call, we'll do it. And then uh, another thing I want to shine a light on in these last five minutes, 
which I have just been doing for a couple months, but I'm just getting tremendous feedback, are these Skype interviews that I've been doing. So, you know, I interviewed um, Nicole Solari again this morning. So, I, you know, Bill interviewed her. I watched it. I'm like, oh, my God, this is an amazing story. We've got to really unpack this. I did a one-hour interview for her, with her. And then my big takeaway and where I got the most questions after that interview this week was about her open house strategy. How is she doing open houses? So I said, hey, Nicole, you know, what's a morning this week? You could do a 15-minute call with me. And so literally I scheduled this the other day. It went 20 minutes. And here we do. We got modern open houses with Nicole Solari. I recorded it. You know, it was super easy to do it. I did. E I used Ecamm to record my Skype interview, and I posted this. And I'll guarantee that you know, by, within a couple of days, we'll have hundreds of views before we even start marketing it, before we even start promoting it. So um, you know, Skype interviews, Skype interviews, capture it, um, promote it. Another great idea. You know, super super easy. Uh, Scott, those are awesome. Totally working on. Yeah, so thanks, Rich, for the feedback on that. Are you able to record it directly with Skype? So um, answer is no. I, I use Skype, and then I have a um, an add-on app, which I think was like, uh, I don't know, it's like 20 bucks. This is it. I bought it. Uh, I think it's called eRecorder. Uh, if someone wants it, um, I'll post a link in our Facebook group. But, you know, this $20 plug-in, I'm on a Skype call, I can click record, and then literally within two steps, I upload that into our YouTube channel. So a super easy way to, you know, go from I've got an idea, I've got an interview, I want to present it. Super easy. All right, guys, we are in the last few minutes of today's call. Uh, hopefully it's been a valuable hour of your time. Please um, let us know. What kind of value you got? Was it awesome? Did you get tons of value? Great. A few takeaways, solid, just okay. Um, let, let me know. I mean, if it's just okay, it won't hurt my feelings. Uh, just tell me I need to get better. Uh, so far, it looks like we're getting a lot of great feedback on today's call. So a couple closing thoughts. I want to remind everybody that this happens every single Friday. We have a community of mortgage professionals that come here to talk about productivity. This call has been very different, you know, because – Usually, it's more conversational. It's not one topic. Uh, this call, we really focus on video. Um, most weeks, we are, you know, we're, we're talking about Darren Hardy's Insane Productivity Program. Everybody's a graduate. We're talking about how to be more disciplined with your time. We're talking about jam sessions. You know, we're really unpacking the Darren Hardy way to do things. For anybody that wants to learn more about Darren Hardy's Insane Productivity, at the top of the Facebook link, there is a place where you can click on that. Again, that is a paid-for program. I'm not going to do too much of a commercial. I would just tell you it's the best personal productivity training I've been through. Uh, check that out. It's discounted for Mortgage Coach Community at $9.95. Uh, we've had hundreds of loan officers go through it, and everybody loves it. So everybody's getting a lot of value. So check that out. So with that said, we are at the top of the hour. I am going to stop broadcasting. Hopefully, most of you come back next Friday at 9 o'clock. Also, let um, friends and family, friends and, you know, people on your team know that every Friday we're talking about productivity. We're talking about how to get more done in less time to achieve your goals. So, Dave, any last thoughts before we wrap it up? No, good call, dude. Uh, pretty inspiring. Um, uh, I, like, I'm inspired to, like, I got to start up in my game. So it was good stuff. <clears throat> Right on. And Bliss, did I um, hit your expectations when you said, hey, I'd love to talk about video? Did, you did. did Thanks. We, I appreciate it. Did, did, I, did I deliver? I'm inspired. Thank you. All right. Well, hey, everybody, let's keep this conversation going. We are all better when we engage, when we help each other. So I hope to see some ideas shared on our Facebook page, some questions, and I look forward to doing another productivity call with you next week. And remember, it's not always about video. If you just have questions like Kathy B. from Fairway, what's up? Uh, if you've got some questions that you would like to help your community of Fairway Loan Officers be more successful, bring it on. Uh, any questions you have, that, again, it is about productivity. 
So we'll see you next week. Have a great weekend, and thanks for making time for us today. See ya.